The internet is pretty crazy. It gives us the ability to talk to anyone in the world in seconds, when only a few years ago your parents were sending messages by pigeons or something. These days, around 5.47 billion people use the internet every day. But what is the internet actually? Say you're a massive Swifty and want to buy tickets for the upcoming concert. When you go to Ticketmaster.com, your computer sends out a request to your internet service provider's DNS server to get the IP address requested URL maps to. Every device connected to the internet has an IP address, which acts as its identifier. You may have seen something like this before. This used to be the standard IP address called IPv4. The problem is, IPv4 only allows for about 4.3 billion unique IP addresses, so we ran out of those back in November of 2019. To fix this, IPv6 was invented. IPv6 is composed of 8 groups of 16-bit hexadecimal separated by colons. There are 340 undecillion unique IPv6 addresses, so we should never run out. Once your computer gets the desired IP address, it sends a request to your router. Sort of like how Google Maps will give you the shortest route to your destination, the router will consult its routing table to determine the the best next hop for the packet. Most of the time, the flow will go something like this. Your router sends the data to your internet service provider, which sends the data to an internet exchange point, which sends the data to another internet service provider, which will send the data to the target router, which finally will send all the data to the device connected to that router with the destination IP address. That server will then send back the requested data, but most of the time, the data is far too large to be efficiently sent at once. To fix this, the data will be broken into smaller chunks known as packets, which are typically around 1000 to 1500 bytes. Each packet will contain a header detailing the packet's origin, a destination, and how to reassemble it. Sort of like Lego, you get the pieces in these bags and are given instructions on how to assemble it. Once the data is received by your device, TCP is used to identify which application requested the information. TCP is represented by the port number that follows an IP address, a 16-bit number like 8080. Once your computer reassembles assembles the data packets, you will be able to see Ticketmaster and start to decide which organ you will sell to afford the tickets.